Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of CVTV. We're here at New Orleans Magna 2017 and I'm here with Jack Behar. He's the creator of the Clear Roller Filter. Um, this is like the hottest product in the show um, because it just means no more filter socks. That's correct. And I know we have something going on that's like, uh, uh, what is this? Goodbye filter socks, hashtag? Yeah, say goodbye to filter socks. <laughs> say goodbye to filter socks, hashtag. Yeah. So how are you, man? I'm doing great, brother. Thank you. Good, good, good. So tell me, how did the idea of the clear filthy come about? Okay, so I've been in the hobby for over 20 years. Uh, I have a 330-gallon brief tank, and when my daughter was born, it kind of took a back seat. Now, my tank was fully automated except for the filter socks. And unfortunately, I did not change them for about three months, <laughs> and my whole tank crashed. So I was spontaneous, and I posted the tank on one of the forums for sale, and then I, you know, I, I got my composure, and I said, maybe there's, there's a solution to this problem. Yes. I looked around the market, and there really wasn't anything for a big tank or anything that could retrofit easily into my sump. And I started drawing and bought a laser cutter and then created some prototypes, tested it for a while, and kind of evolved to where we're at now. Excellent. So you, everybody knows. I mean, filter socks are just bad. We, I, I hated filter my socks. My wife hates them too. Yeah, I know. It's like, <laughs> oh God. I put my wife. It's like, you're gonna put that in the washing machine? Exactly. No, you're exactly. not. So hand washing them in the yeah, back, yeah. you know, and then drying them. So I understand. I understand. Right. So tell me, how does the how does the clear filter work? What how what's the concept? How does it work? Okay. Well, it's uh, it's pretty simple, really. All it is is a basin that captures the water in which there's a fleece, that okay. water is intersected through that fleece. Mm -hmm. And as the fleece begins to clog with detritus, fish poop, uh, algae, yes, all that else. material, um, the water level within the trays rise, okay. which then triggers one of two optical sensors. Okay. That optical sensor tells the controller to turn a motor on which spindles on um, retracting and getting the dirty material to pull through and exposing new material. Now, does the motor completely change the entire fleece of the length of the machine or does it do it slowly? It does it very slowly. It's a low RPM motor, high torque, mm -hmm. and it only um, advances enough for water to flow freely again. Again. So it's very efficient. It does not yes. waste any fleece. Not wasting any fleece. Right. Can you tell me what's the size of the fleece? Is it what? how many microns? Microns, okay. So the fleece right now that we're um, bringing to market is 50 microns in size. 50 microns. Which is, um, most filter socks are in the 200 micron range, and some very brave people do 100 microns, and they're mm -hmm. changing their sock at times every few hours. Exactly. <laughs> so um, this is 50 microns, and it's always 50 microns because it's always new material. Uh, the roll of fleece is 50 yards. 50 yards. 50 yards. Wow, I don't think there's a competitor out there that has no, that no, long. No, that's a, right. Okay, all right. And then the question that everybody's going to ask, which I know it's a loaded question, is how long does it last? Right, that is a loaded question because there are many variables in any aquarium. For example, some people might have entheists that they're feeding very often to a very mm -hmm. small particle food. Some people might have a large fish. I can tell you from my tank, it's a 330 gallon tank, uh, two huge angels, a lot of tangs, bare bottom, so there's always a lot of detritus floating, doesn't mm -hmm. settle. And I'm getting two and a half to three months out of the 50 yard roll. What's your turnover on that tank? Okay, so my tank right now, after head loss and everything, I'm about 2,200 gallons 20. per hour. Okay, now you got to tell me. Okay, so you're using two of those, right? I am using the stock filter with an extension tray. Now, the stock filter will accommodate up to 1,500 gallons per hour through okay. it as it stands. Okay, and then the, 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 the extension just makes it longer so you have more surface Correct. area to Correct. filter through. Right, so the stock option would uh, suffice for most reefers. Now, 1,500 gallons. Right, right. That's almost... I mean, if you're two, running more than that through your sump, you really need to reevaluate the system, you know, is the design of your system. That's almost 2.5 more flow than the competitors out Correct. there. Correct, yes. And that was one of the pain points I had when evaluating the, the competitors. Okay. I would have had to buy four units and it would have been, uh, it, it was not possible to, to retrofit that into my setup. Okay. So now, <clears throat> all right, so you have a 300 gallon tank or 350. I have a 200 gallon tank, so my sump okay. is going to be slightly smaller. Right. And then I have a friend of mine that has a 100 gallon tank. <clears throat> How does that work? Because I mean, okay. does it, w will the filter work on all three sumps? Correct. So um, this is a one size fits all approach that we're taking. And the filter itself is modular. It expands and contracts. Oh, okay. Both, both in length and in height. Wow. Yes. So it should accommodate any any system, any size. And then for really big tanks, you can start um, adding on the accessories, which 
increase its um, efficiency. And okay, so you're pretty much one unit fits almost all. That, that was the goal, yes. Okay. Um, catering to not only people with um, custom sumps, but a lot of people use standard tanks, um, standard glass tanks that they make their own you know, mm -hmm. sumps out of. And this is perfect for that. It just drops right in, holds onto the, to the walls of the tank. Which brings up a good point. I'm about to, you know, I'm not about to take my sump and, uh, you know, just to buy a new sump sure. to put the clear filter right, in there. Right. You know, it's 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 a big pain. Yes. Um, yes. Which is what other customers with, which is what other uh, viewers have. Mm -hmm. So, will this work on my regular sump? Yes. So, uh, we don't expect you to change your sump. The whole point about this is that it's a simple solution. Okay. So between <clears throat> the bracketing system, the accessories. And more importantly, an external box that you can mount on top of your current sump. If you can't fit it within the sump, you should have a solution to be able to incorporate okay. it into your current setup. And how does it fit into your sump? Does it have legs? Is it a bracket? Does it hang from the side of the wall? There, or how does it do it? There are many ways. Um, okay. You can um, attach hanging brackets from either end to mm -hmm. go from front to back of a sump. Mm -hmm. Or you can take those brackets, put them parallel, and you can go parallel on a wall. Or you can attach a leg to it and one hanger or you can take the hangers all off and put two legs on it. It's almost so, like a Lego. It's a transformer, yes. <laughs> we just like we should have just called like, it a clear yeah, transformer. Clear, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Now, where can you get it from? Um, it is distributed through CoralView. It okay. is actually clear by CoralView. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, Pretty much anybody any, that, any, that any, any of the retailer that, right. that CoralView That's distributes to, they can buy it. Correct. So you can buy it from your, nearest, uh, from your online and hopefully your nearest retail store. That's right. Correct. Thank you very much. It was good to see you. Thank you. And uh, great job, man. Thank you, man. Thanks, everybody, and we'll see you next time.